Hello beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. The topic of this video is going to be the base skins in top war. I will explain you how important the skins are in top war, how to approach this and yes, which skins are the best. The evaluation is made from my perspective as two and a half years player and also being the owner of 75 base skins in top war. Feel free to slow down the video at this point and count it for yourself. This evaluation is also meant to help free-to-play players all the way up to Wales. So how important are the base skins in top war? Let's do a performance versus cost ranking. Rank number one is having the best heroes for your march for the certain unit type and of course having their special skill to level five. Rank two is the heavy trooper and of course the way you set it up with the chips. Rank three are the perks and rank four are the base skins. Yes, you heard me right. Rank four of most important items in top war are the base skins. So why am I mentioning these ranks before we talk about the base skins? Simply because all the items in top war share a common ground. And that is the performance, while they also cost you resources, which are money or your precious gems. A side note, the lesser money you can afford to spend in top war, the higher the values of such videos will gonna be for you. And the general recommendation is to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button, because ideally you should watch my evaluation first then think about it and then you can log in the game and take your next step. So let's start. When it comes down to the base skins in top war, there are actually only two ways to approach this. Number one, you're gonna aim to get the absolute necessary skins and then you're gonna stop because you're gonna focus on something more important than that. And of course the option number two, you're gonna hunt down every single skin in this game for the passive holding in stock buffs. So let's start with the easier option to explain, which is the option number two. So here are the things you have to pay attention to. Now, these skins cost around about $150 to $180 in general. Of course, there are some events like Gacha, which come every four or five months in which you can get some of these skins for gems, there are also events in which you can get some of these skins for a very cheap price, like $50 to $70. And of course, we have to mention that there are some skins in this game which are literally way too overpriced. But your main goal is actually the holding in stock buffs, which gives you less and less performance the higher your stats will gonna become. So let's take an example and have a look at my army stats right now. Let's assume I'm gonna buy now a new skin simply for the holding in stock buffs, which generally speaking are 10% attack and 10% HP. But if you compare this to my stats, I'm actually getting a 0.3% attack and a 0.3% HP, which is not much, isn't it? In other words, the costs for these base skins remain constant while the performance of this holding in stock buffs, we're gonna drop massively. So now let's move on to the more challenging part of this video, which is what skins does a free-to-play player all the way up to low budget spender or medium budget spender, what skins should you aim for? You're gonna need something for PVE and something for PVP. Let's start with the PVE. A lot of events, you've noticed that you need a lot of VIT in order to do the achievements and get the better rewards. So from this point of view, Noitopia and the Z Age minus two skin are the best skins for you. From the PVP point of view, let's start with the best cost versus performance rate skins we have right now in game. And we have two skins. Those are the Pantheon and the Void Matrix and these skins can be obtained for free by doing your achievements in the event Terra Aurora or Eternal Land. And these events come 
two times a year, so please plan accordingly and save enough of it to do the achievements. Now granted, these two skins buffs won't count if the battle takes place on your server, but they will count on pretty much everything else. In SVS, if you're visiting your opponent's server, in the new Titan Canyon, in Eternal Land, in Terra Aurora, and they are absolutely fantastic. The Void Matrix will gonna give you the extra buff when you're defending your base, but on top of this is gonna give you something more. Because you must have noticed by now that all this event I already mentioned a couple of times in this video have a very heavy teleportation restrictions. Meaning the more Alliance member having the Void Matrix, the easier it's gonna be for you guys to bypass these teleportation restrictions. So why is the Void Matrix actually such a great skin? Granted, I'm actually using the Freezy Castle, which is a slightly upgraded version of the Void Matrix. We also have to take in consideration two facts. One, most likely your account will be attacked way more often than my base. And fact number two is from my gaming experience, I need roughly around 40 to 50% of the event time in order to convince my opponents to stop hitting my base because it makes no sense. So at this point, we are literally done with this topic skins. But of course, we can also mention another skin, which is the Mountain Academy. Now, granted, this skin gives you only a 10% damage, which is big, but not as big as the dedicated special unit skins, like the Barrel Hearts for the tanks, like the Air Force Fortress for the planes, like the Whale Harbor for the Navy. Those are literally the best skins for the specific unit type, but still doesn't change the fact that the Mountain Academy is pretty awesome because it's one skin for no matter unit type you would like to play with. On top of the Mountain Academy, I would like to mention this skin called the Crystal Cabin. The skill of this skin is very helpful and you see that now on the screen, but you'll understand better the value of this skin once you watch the video which I'm working right now and which will be published in the next few days. And that video topic will be how to set your defense nowadays with the heavy trooper, with the shark toy and so on, and how exactly you should play accordingly to that. So the evaluation is literally done right now, but allow me to explain you something else. And I truly recommend you to keep watching the video because I'm trying to avoid now some huge, huge questions which are gonna pop up in the comments. First major question, but Timmy, there are skins with March size. Yeah, what about them, is my answer. There was a time in Top War where the March size was indeed the most important thing in the game but that age is really gone with the implementation of the heavy trooper or the shark toy. This is the simple explanation. Of course, you can click now on the video of which you see on the screen in order to see the detailed explanation about this. Your second question will be, what about the holy grail of top war, the super minor skin? My answer is also clear. What about that? Let's have a look at my research. So it's clear to see that indeed you need a lot of resources, but not just that, you're also gonna need a lot of class items, you're gonna need speed ups, you're not gonna need power cores. And trust me when I tell you, the resources won't be your number one problem. I also recommend you to take some time and watch the video which you see now on the screen in order to get as many class items as possible, as fast as possible, because unlocking the three hero march is an absolute huge progression step in top war. So beautiful people, for those of you which are still watching right now, let's recapitulate. So I mentioned the Pantheon and the Void Matrix, which are literally free skins. Then I also mentioned Noitopia and that set H-2, which are great skins for the Vit recovery. And at this point, you're pretty much done. Just keep an eye on the gacha event. I hope this video helped you and took this unnecessary pressure which lies upon you thinking you need a lot of base skins. Because the true magic in top war is having the 
best three heroes. So beautiful people, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit a like because this helps me really a lot. And don't forget to see me in the next episode.